So if you're like me, you'll be um, totally fascinated by these fabulous uh, winter and night skies, which are just awesome. I mean, the stuff you can see just now is, is incredible. Saturn's clearly visible. Even Uranus or Uranus M31, you can see them all. It's just amazing. Anyway, um, I've been through many, many iterations of astronomy equipment. I've had a Williams Optics 123 uh, refractor, big heavy thing. I've had a Takahashi 85. I've had a Celestrian CPC 9.25 reflector. Astronomy, it um, takes up a lot of space and it takes up a lot of money. So a few years ago, I got rid of all my stuff. Sadly, economics became a reality. Um, and now I'm sort of looking at it again, wondering if there's a cheap and easy way. And I, I know there isn't a cheap and easy way. But one thing I thought about was these huge binoculars which came up on Amazon for, you know, £300. And uh, you can pay it up over six months. So it's, you know, it's a, a cheap way of getting some some decent kit. These are 20 by 80s and that means you've got basically an, an 80 an 80 millimeter um, refractor times two. And there's no doubt, that, and they're quite lightweight actually, they're built to be light because they're huge. Um, and they've obviously got your, um, you can attach that to a photographic plate, put it in a tripod. Now, a photographic tripod is probably going to be too lightweight for these. And I've, I've got them on an old Skywatcher. An old Skywatcher um, tripod, which uh, which works fine. There's problems. There's problems with all binoculars looking at the night sky. And the main thing is overhead. You know, most of the night sky is overhead, obviously, by definition. And uh, that means you need, you know, there's a reason the telescope it's got an eyepiece at 90 degrees because you can point your scope at the sky and you can look in the eyepiece just by bending over slightly or sitting down. You don't have to hold it above your head. And that's the big problem with binoculars. You can't hold these, well, you can hold them for a few seconds, but you can't get any steady image of anything um, without putting them on a tripod. And the only way to really see overhead Things like the Pleiades and Jupiter and stuff, M31, uh, Mars, is to um, put them on a tripod. And the tripod would need to be at least head height, so you can look up. So you're going to need a tripod that's over six foot high. And that's not really going to work, is it? You're not going to get a tripod of that size, really, unless you buy some giant tripod. So just really by definition... Binoculars don't work for astronomy. I find that my 8x42 binoculars, which are obviously much smaller and lighter, are much more useful than these, to be honest. Now, in the 8x42s, you do not see nearly as much light. What you, what you notice when you move into these, say you're looking at Jupiter with these, you can easily see four or five, six moons of Jupiter. Are there six moons? I think there might be. Um, I mean, when I say you can see them, you can see the little bright shining dots around about a um, a very bright central disk. You can't see any detail on Jupiter, just this big bright disk and it's six bright dots. When you go to the 8x42s, you struggle to see the moons. <clears throat> you can see Jupiter, but you can't see really see the moons. So these have infinitely greater light gathering power by dint of the fact they've got twice the size of an objective lens, 80 versus 42. But that's really where the usefulness ends because you can't really handhold these, you can't really hold them above your head. Astronomy is very frustrating. I mean, what you need really to look at anything is a probably a four inch or a six inch refractor, or if you have the space, a nine inch or 11 inch reflector. It's very frustrating. Uh, the other, the other about these specifically, these it's very difficult. Lots of people write about the eye cups, and when you pull the eye cups out, they're completely useless because the the field of view goes from you know maximum to about thirty percent. These eye cups are a complete disaster. 
So you have to really use them with the eye cups in, which is not ideal. Um, if I can find a way to mount them so I can see overhead, I think they'd be, they'd, it would be a cheap and useful way of, of, of doing things. I mean, I've seen Saturn through these because Saturn is quite low in the sky. But you won't see anything of Saturn. You will not see that. I mean, I, I read everywhere that you can easily see the rings of Saturn, blah, blah, blah. No, you can't. With these huge binoculars, you just see an orange blob. Same with Mars. It's a, an even smaller uh, red speck. You will not see any detail. You will see you know, spectacular constellations. The Orion Nebula actually looks fabulous through this. I mean, really fabulous. But it's highly compromised. And I, and I would say, yeah, if you have plenty of money, buy this as a as a kind of an extra, you know, that you could maybe use for bird watching and stuff as well. But as an effective sky at night instrument, there's no there's no getting around the telescope because the telescope has far better eyepieces and allows you to see straight overhead in the legs. You're never gonna to manage to do that with this. So I hope it helps. It's um it's cumbersome, but they have made it light because they've realised that otherwise it would be unusable. Focusing's okay. Um, what else is there to say about it? Not much, really. Um, the chromatic aberration, the purple fringing, it's not bad. It's not bad. It's not as good as my 8x42s, which are a slightly higher spec binocular. But it's okay. But, you know, it's a massive compromise and... It's no substitute for a telescope.